Hyundai became a major competitor in motorsports this year through their commitment in WTCR, the World Touring Car Cup, and in WRC, the World Rally Championship. The new FIA WTCR is the top level of the regional and national touring car series based on the TCR regulations concerning the touring production cars from the C-segment hatchbacks. Oh, we are using TCR category to show also through motorsport how good is the IFR 10 road car. And looking at the motorsport platform, the best compromise for us was to have the involvement in TCR as customer racing. WTCR came up last year and it was impossible to not be part of it because it's the best platform where to show all around both the good image of the i30N motorsport things, but on the other side, how good the car is for also customers. So it's the best marriage, let me say, between the two targets that we have in our mind. The first FIA WTCR race and the first win for the Hyundai TCR in Marrakesh this year, thanks to the BRC team and their top driver, Gabriele Tarquini, one of the greatest names in the World Touring Car Series history. Tarquini has five wins since the start of the season. In WTCR, the manufacturer team are forbidden, so you must give the car to a private team. BRC is a very good team, Italian team, we can speak the same language. We can understand each other very, very good. It was involved, BRC was involved since the beginning with uh, Hyundai, so it was uh, a very good relationship since uh, the first uh, lap uh, in the circuit, and is still going. The i30N TCR is powered by a two-litre turbocharged engine connected to a six-speed sequential gearbox. The TCR project began in September 2016, with the first completed test car running in April 2017. Tarkini has brought his immense experience from the beginning of the project. It was my car. I mean, uh, I can start, okay, from the road car, but we can start from the white paper. So we start around the table, me, engineer, and uh, people of Hyundai, just to start designing the car, what you need, uh, how you can drive the car, what's the characteristic of TCR, uh, whatever. So we start discussing before uh, seeing the car. Everything is the, not designed for me and comes from uh, the idea, from my idea and uh, Hyundai engineer idea. Before the TCR and FIA WTCR project, Hyundai made their first big commitment in motorsport with the World Rally Championship. The project started in 2013 with their inaugural season in 2014. A first rally win came in Germany, followed by an increasing power rally after rally, year by year. This was uh, okay, a challenge, but uh, even bigger challenge because it was really to start from, I, I would not say nothing, but from zero. And, uh, and then to build up everything. Uh, so this was a proper challenge, you know. I think uh, we reached uh, uh, a good uh, standard level uh, in 2016. And now we are really a uh, good standard, really. And uh, okay, this is also the reason why it's possible for us to fight uh, really against the other competitor. The Belgian Thierry Neville is the leading Hyundai WRC driver and 2018 World Championship runner-up. Nine wins behind the wheel for the Korean manufacturer and part of the challenge from the get-go. To join a, a new team which completely started from scratch was a huge challenge for me, uh, especially the two first years with Hyundai were, were quite difficult. But uh, I always kept believing in that we, we could do the job properly and uh, quite soon, 2016, we brought our first real own car, let's say, properly developed in Germany. And uh, since 2017, uh, with our uh, yeah, new car, we are really competitive. And the motorsport season came to an end for Hyundai with great success, winning the FIA WTCR Drivers and Team Championship. Gabriele Tarquini fought until the last corner of the final race after an intensive battle for the crown with Ivan Muller all weekend long, both behind the wheel of the i30N. With that, Tarquini makes history, becoming the first World Touring Car Cup driver winner.